Can I live long with hepatitis B? If your liver healthy means you are healthy. People living with chronic hepatitis B infection may or may not need drug treatment. But there are many other things patients can do to protect their liver and improve their health. Can I do regular checkup with any health professionals? Strictly no. An experienced doctor looks at the results of these tests in relation to each other to determine if you would benefit from currently available treatments. Your doctor refers professional clinical guidelines, developed by professional medical organizations to provide guidance to doctors for treating hepatitis B. Before starting this presentation, I would request, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and press bell icon so that any new video will be updated in our channel you will be notified as well. Reduce stress level. It is ensured that reduce your stress levels by eating healthy foods, exercising regularly, and getting plenty of rest. Stress weak body immune system as well as brings many diseases. So, protect your liver and your health. Get hepatitis A vaccine. Get the hepatitis A vaccine to protect yourself from another virus that attacks the liver. If there will be two viruses in the body then liver complications will be increased more. Avoid drinking alcohol and smoking. Strictly say not to drinking alcohol and smoking since both are will hurt your liver, which is already being injured by the hepatitis B virus. Talk to your doctor before taking any liver supplements, herbal remedies. Before starting any herbal remedies or vitamin supplements you need to consult with your liver specialist. Because some could interfere with your prescribed hepatitis B drugs or even damage your liver as well. Talk to your doctor before taking any drugs for any complications in the body. Check with your pharmacist about any over-the-counter drugs like acetaminophen, paracetamol or non-hepatitis B prescription drugs before taking those to make sure they are safe for your liver since many of these drugs are processed through your liver. Avoid chemicals. Avoid inhaling fumes from paint, paint thinners, chemical burning smokes, glue, household cleaning products, nail polish removers, pesticides, insecticides and other potentially toxic chemicals that could damage your liver. Eat healthy diets. Eat rich with fiber and green foods, fruit, spinach, vegetables, whole grains, fish and lean meats, not red meat. Cruciferous vegetables is very good for hepatitis patient like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, beetroot, radish, gooseberries. Mushrooms are also good for hepatitis patient those are help to protect the liver against environmental toxic and harmful chemicals. Limit or avoid sugary foods. Limit foods and drinks with added sugars including sodas, colas, fruit juices, desserts, packaged snacks and other foods that contain added sugar. Did you know as per report in 1 liter cola, 30 spoons of sugar added? Sugar and saturated fats is the cause of fatty liver. Avoid eating raw or uncooked shellfish. Avoid eating raw or undercooked shellfish such as clams, mussels, oysters, scallops because they could be contaminated with bacteria like Vibrio vulnificus, that is very toxic to the liver and could cause a lot of damage to the liver. Check what you eat. As you know, we eat toxic and chemicals added foods every day. A healthy liver is bale to filter those toxic and chemicals elements. Nuts, fruits, vegetables, whole grains etc. are need wash with clean water properly. Because added toxic and chemicals elements into the food could be a risk factor for liver cancer. Always keep in mind, it is ensured that what you eat, drink, breathe, or absorb through the skin is eventually filtered by the liver. If you are a hepatitis patient always keep in mind everything carefully. This is last but not least, I would say. Protect your liver. If your liver is healthy then you are healthy. Because liver is the second largest organ in the body working for more than 500 types of work in the body. Stay healthy. Stay happy. If you like this video, please like this video. If you did not subscribe our channel, 
Please subscribe it now and if you have any new tips or ideas about hepatitis B viral diseases, please share with us in the comment box. We want to make a community in our channel and aware you anytime about hepatitis B diseases and infections. So, I would like to request you please subscribe our channel. Any questions or suggestions are welcome.